Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone's having an amazing day. So guys, today I am back with another collective karma reading for you. Guys, since I've spoken to you last, I've gotten a major freaking download in regards to the topic that we're going to be discussing today. Honey, this karmic family preyed on a star. And now it's death season. Oops, oops, oops. All right, y'all, we're going to dive in and get some more information regarding this topic as we dive further into the depths of our readings, my love. All right. But before we do that, those of you who are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Queen Tati Tarot family. I'm so pleased, thankful, and grateful to have you all here. Yes, love you guys all so very much. Guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to your girl's channel. All right. Also, those of you who do not know, your girl does cuss in her readings, love, all right, because your girl gets all up in the energy, boo, okay? So if that's not cool with you, honey, go ahead and move on to the next reader, love, all right, because your girl's going to be herself, and that's just all I can give you over here, all right? Also, too, guys, sometimes my readings are graphic, all right? So if that's not cool with you, go ahead and move on to the next reader again, all right? Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and... um. Let's use our clear quartz crystal and let's use it to shield ourselves from any dark forces, any negativity that might try to come in here and interfere with our messages and downloads from spirit. All right, love, because we ain't got time for it, period. All right, guys, clear quartz enhances your awareness and clarity. It also amplifies your energy and thought as well as protects against negativity. All right. So Spirit is saying, those of you who do not have clear quartz, Spirit's wanting you to go ahead and purchase yourself this beautiful crystal and use it in your everyday protection methods. All right. Clear quartz. Yeah. All right, y'all. Whoa. This reading is about to be freaking deep. All right, y'all. So let's get into it. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go ahead and pull one card from our Divine Feminine Oracle deck and let's see which guide, which ancestor is here assisting and helping you guys at this time while you guys are dealing with these people, these places, and these freaking things, love, all right? Let's see which guide, which ancestor is here. Thanks, spirit. This is a family or a friend that you consider family, all right, that has gone against you here in numbers, all right? You guys could be feeling like you're under attack by, like, this number of people, all right? Two or more people. You're not competing with them or feuding with them, but they competing with you. They got beef with you, I'm hearing Spirit say, all right? Thanks, Spirit. Which guy, which ancestor is here? That was a side message, all right? This karmic family prey on a star. You guys watching Collective, your star seeds, all right? Chosen ones. Angel number 144. You guys could um, also be seeing um, angel number 1111 or 111 a lot at this time, all right? Which guide, which ancestor is here? Right. Oh, beautiful freaking card, guys. Oh, Yamoja, the goddess that flows. Look, the goddess of all that flows. Look how beautiful this freaking card is, y'all. Whoa. All right, Yamoja, the goddess of all that flows. Let's read what she freaking says, all right? Yamoja, the goddess of all that flows. I am an ocean of creative energy. I give birth to what exists within me. I am an ocean of creative energy. You guys are very creative at this time. You're powerful manifestors. You're super manifestors, Spirit is saying. Yeah. Freaking magicians, master magicians here. You guys are freaking it all up in your power, honey. Oh, you're super strong, honey. Literally. Yeah. You're very creative at this time. Also, I'm getting your intuition is freaking on point at this time. You're very intuitive at this time, right? Um, very connected to God, source, universe here. The goddess of all that flows. Yamoja is here helping you guys to let, you know, things flow naturally, all right? To help you not to force things or help you not to 
force yourself, okay, into doing something that you don't want to do or acting a way that you don't want to act, okay? Um, what I'm getting from that is Yamosha is helping you to go with the flow and let things that are being sent at you to upset you, irritate you, piss you off. Your emotions here just help you let that roll off your back, all right? Not let it bother you like it was supposed to or like it was set up to, you know, to piss you off or irritate the fuck out of you. Your emotion is here to help you let shit roll off your back. Let this karmic family members bullshit, argumentative ass tactics, stupid ass fucking opinions and thoughts, their judgments, their hate, their spite, their envy, their harsh fucking words that they're saying to you, their disrespect, how they're treating you ugly. Your emotions here helping you to let that shit fucking roll off your back, flow off your back. These people trying to attack you here, honey, trying to put this pain on you or make you feel some kind of way or make you feel like you're not good enough or like you're not welcome or like you're not worthy or like you're not a part of the family or the team or whatever, all right? These people was doing that shit on purpose, trying to break you, honey. Um, and uh, their attack, their attempts, their attacks, okay, trying to issue this pain, nine of swords to you. That shit did nothing but make you fucking faster, bigger, better, stronger. The fuck, period. You know how to freaking transmute negative ass energy into a freaking power source, a source of freaking positivity, healing, creativity. Oops. A source of motherfucking, you know, fuel for you. That's a charge for you. So spirit is saying whenever people like come at you or like whenever people, you know, think that they're breaking you, they're really not. They're making you stronger, better. They're adding another freaking cover or like another freaking wall or like another freaking protective barrier to your already protected motherfucking bodysuit, your spirit suit. Yeah. So these people ain't doing shit to you at all. That's why you're not worried about it. You guys are learning how to deal with your temper here or like not let shit bother you like how it used to before. Okay, I'm hearing spirits say. I'm going to pull um, two cards from our Eyes of the Soul deck. All right, guys. And let's tap in and see um, really quickly how you guys are feeling overall. All right. If people was attacking you here and accusing you of doing some shit. Trying to make you feel low, small, unworthy, not good enough, unloved, unwelcome, uncared about, disrespected, ugly stupid they want to make you feel all those negative ass ways bitch you're not you don't the fuck period so they can fucking stop all right bitch ba 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 bitch send me the stop 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 bitch oops the fuck oops all right these people with snakes in your fucking grass honey they kept fucking coming at you or whatever the fuck and you're the star they was coming at you because they bitch ass was fucking jealous or whatever they was coming at you because they bitch ass was fucking jealous or whatever the fuck of a bitch. Embrace the three worlds. Yeah, because you have the ability to go here, there, and in between two. You're part of the freaking Holy Trinity. 333. You guys can be seeing 333 a lot. You're a part of the freaking Holy Trinity. You're able to go between worlds. Here, there, and in between two. All right. You have the fucking keys to the gate. You can, you're a spirit traveler. You can travel in the spirit realm. Astral. Yeah. Huh. You can see, yeah, into the future. These people are jealous of you because you have that fucking gift or whatever the fuck. Or you was chosen or you was crowned here. Yeah. All right. They mad or whatever the fuck. They jealous of a bitch or whatever. All right. <laughs> we don't give a fuck about that. Period. You could be a earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or dealing with one. Also, it could be dealing with a air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or you could be also water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. All right. Yeah, they, yeah, they matter, whatever the fuck. 
because you're a bad bitch or whatever the fuck. Create and activate your DNA. Yeah, like I said, you're a motherfucking powerful ass manifester, a freaking master ass magician, babe. Yeah, you freaking know how to call things into you, okay? You ask and you always receive, all right? Your prayers are always heard. Yeah, you're getting stronger here because people are trying to freaking take you, break you, shake you, put you down, attack you here. Prey on you here, stalk you here, follow you here, copy you here, trying to create, clone you here. <laughs> yeah. Her freaking hair is strands of freaking DNA, bitch. Yeah. Yeah. They was trying to motherfucking make themselves into you or whatever the fuck, or like walking your fucking energy. Huh? <laughs> Doing this, this motherfucking magic here, this witchcraft here. You look like this motherfucking cloak and shit. Like a witch or whatever, trying to be you or whatever the fuck. Or some Ursula, a motherfucking aerial ass, little mermaid ass shit, bitch. <laughs> That's what I'm getting here. This could be your own fucking mother, bitch. Jealous of you. She feels like you're not as spiritual as her, or she feels like, or like they could be, like your family could be very fucking religious, and you're not. You're like the black sheep, all right? You're spiritual. You're the opposite of them, all right? You freaking are open-minded. They're closed-minded, all right? You going this way, bitch, they going that way, or whatever the fuck, but this mother or grandmother or whatever this karmic whoever this karmic is that honey they were trying to like walk in your shoes or whatever the fuck or be you here this older woman i'm getting mirror magic water magic mirror mirror on the wall <laughs> Who's the most powerfulest of them all? This bitch in there motherfucking doing incantations and shit in that damn mirror, bitch. On some real shit? Yeah, uh-huh. Tell that bitch to shut up, huh? Alright. Cause she don't even know who the fuck she talking to, bitch. Period. Anyways, you guys have been dealing with fucking spiritual warfare almost all your fucking life. You feel like all your life you had to fucking fight. You feel like you haven't been able to catch a break yet. You feel like it's always some other shit. Sometimes you was like, bitch, I don't even know why the fuck I'm even here. On some real shit, that shit crossed your mind, bitch. Period. Because you was like, I know daddy did not send me here to be fucking dealing with this type of shit. Or to be going through this type of shit in my life. I know daddy didn't send me here. I know God, source, universe, the divine, didn't have this shit set up for me to fucking deal with this shit forever. They didn't. You're right. You're not supposed to be going through that. You're not supposed to be experiencing those heartbreaks, delays, betrayals, losses, suffering. You're not. That's at the hand of man because they're jealous of you. Because you're a star. Because of who you are. Because you have the keys. You're part of fucking three, three, three. The Holy Trinity bitch you're very talented and gifted you're able to shift shit too yeah positively or negatively for, for people you're just this bitch scales you could be a fucking libra yeah air sign mm -hmm. an empress baby the fuck period hi hi yeah period <laughs> these people ain't know who the fuck they was fucking with bitch this shit about to piss me off but let's go ahead and do our reading, love, all right? And get some more information, all right? Because whoever this family member is that was trying to represent themselves as you or or replicate your DNA or your gifts or drain your gifts or freaking up getting also energy vampires. Narcissist here. Your family could be narcissist. Energy vampires, they feed off your pain and suffering and heartbreak. They want you to be sad. That's why they keep fucking saying shit or having a fucking opinion or being judgmental or trying to put you down all the fucking time. Every chance they get, they got something negative to fucking say. You separated yourself from these people. Good for you. 
Oh my God, guys. I'm gonna pull some cards um, from our freaking general tarot deck. All right, and let's get some more information on this shit. All right, the fuck, bitch. Thanks, Spirit. Please give us some more information, all right? Yeah. These people need to fucking wash their fucking back, bitch. Whoever these damn hermits are, this cousin of witches and warlocks, this family that was trying to prey on you, do this damn witchcraft, hex ass, curse ass shit on you, they need to fucking wash me back, bitch. Because it's death season spirit said. Yeah, they said, come out, come out wherever you are, bitch. Yeah. Oops, oops, oops. Come out, come out wherever you are, bitch. Oops, I just heard, think this a game. <laughs> think this a game. And Spirit, please give us some more information about this karmic family that was preying on this star. Am I collective watching the star seat here? Why would they try to represent themselves? Page of Swords, yeah, they're watching you heavily here. Spying, prying, luring, tapping into this damn witchcraft here. Dark arts, yeah. Mm -hmm. Reading up on how to freaking become you here. Dark shit, yeah. Definitely doing with the air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Earth sign. Give us some more information to the spirit. They're watching, spying. This person has been watching you ever since you was a child. They were trying to learn how to stop you here. King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Your one of your family members could be in a motherfucking could be a Mason or be in some type of a coven or cult. This could be a father or a grandfather or a stepdad. They try to freaking sell you off for money, bitch. Six of Pentacles. Sacrifice you for a bag of money or whatever the fuck. To this damn coven or whatever the fuck. To get motherfucking initiated, bitch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Five stories. Yeah, they did this bullshit or whatever the fuck. They was on that bullshit here. Petty. Selfish. Greedy. Spirit said greed. For the love of money. Greed. Yeah, for the love of money. Ace of Wands, they were trying to sacrifice you or whatever the fuck. This family. This woman who's trying to be you and walk in your DNA, walk in your energy, and this man was trying to get this Ace of Wands here, this new beginning here, financially here, a, a life of freaking wealth prosperity abundance luxury you name it bitch but in order to do that they needed to they in their mind they need to you know prey on you ten of swords to betray you every chance they get put a knife in your back every chance they get hurt you disrespect you have an opinion judge you attack you break you shake you take you erase you the fuck, period, block you, stop you. Every chance they get, they needed to keep you in this damn five of cups energy. Sad. Depressed. Lost in the sauce, out in the cold, or whatever the fuck. You're not any of that shit. They are, bitch. You're not any of that shit. They are. Three of swords, they are. They're freaking crying now and shit, upset, regretful for how they freaking attacked you and preyed on you and came at you with this damn magic, these lies, this narcissistic ass shit, this gaslighting, this sociopathy. They're psychos, crazy ass bitches. The crazies, yeah, uh-huh. They're all tied up. They got their ass motherfucking caught up by spirit. All that pain and agony. All them damn swords, all them knives, all them cuts, all them wounds that they freaking try to slice and dice and freaking dig that knife deeper into your freaking heart. 
your soul, your mind, all the ones, honey, healed up on your ass and motherfucking bust the fuck open on these bitches. They're bleeding, the wounds, they're never going to be able to heal that. These people, these karmics, don't know how to freaking transmute and heal pain and turn it into power or restoration or motherfucking blessings or turn it into something good. They don't know how to do that. They don't know how to do that like you. Oh, the fuck well, bitch. That's their fault. That's not nothing to do with you. I have the Queen of Cups, the Hierophant, and the King of Cups. Ah, uh, bitch. The, this mother, witch, this King of Pentacles, father, grandfather, or dad of yours, alongside this false flame masculine or feminine twin flame of yours, all joined together in holy matrimony in this hierophant, this group, this coven against you, together to attack the fuck out of you, bitch. Period. Your mother's involved, or this mother is involved, or this masculine's mother is involved with this bullshit. And helping the motherfucker do this damn shit to you. Seven of Pentacles. Create. Plan. Plot. Scheme. Seven of Pentacles. Organize. They are uh, alongside uh, this, yeah, this mother. This King of Pentacles father. And uh, this motherfucking uh, false flame. Masculine and feminine that you uh, used to deal with. They're all together. Uh, working together, three pentacles as a power of three against your ass to motherfucking stop, block, and delay you or whatever the fuck. Yeah. To motherfucking leave you the hell out, hermit card from this damn spiritual inheritance or this damn gift or whatever. These keys to heaven or these blessings, open doors that you're getting. Yeah. They was freaking doing black magic here to fuck on you, bitch. Period. The magician in the fucking moon. Yeah. They was doing black magic here on you. Yeah, the fuck, period. Uh huh. Yup. Trying to seven of wands your ass. Stop blocking, delay you, the fuck, period, babe. Trying to block you, stop you, delay you. You ain't blocked. You ain't stopped. You ain't none of that shit. They bitch ass is. Spirit protected the fuck out of you, seven of the wands. Yeah, all they black magic went back to the center, bitch, the fuck, period. All three of your hubs. That father got did, slayed. Motherfucking spirit came and blah, blah, bop his ass, bitch, the fuck, period. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Seven, seven of swords and the freaking two of wands. Yeah, all that shit went back to the fucking center, honey. They were stealing, planning bullshit. Oh, whatever the fuck. Trying to hurt the fuck out of you and she, honey, all that shit went back to the fucking center. Him, them, her, that witch mother, she motherfucking passing away, bitch, the fuck, period. In a tragic accident, her with the fuck, period, having a funeral, because she did too fucking much, all right, with this damn craft or whatever the fuck. Yeah. Yeah. That bitch dead and gone. World card. Yeah. She's done. 10, 10, 10. You guys can be seeing angel number 10, 10, all right? Oops, the fuck is. Yeah, bitch, come for fucking mansion. World card and the death card. Yeah, that bitch fucking dying. She dead, bitch. Passed away. That bitch passed the fuck away alongside this damn masculine. This masculine is being motherfucking. This masculine king of pentacles is fucking having an accident too, bitch. For damn being associated with this damn black magic or whatever. It is damn power do with this damn coven. Three of cups. Yeah. The witch, the warlock, and the motherfucking false flame you was dealing with. All these three hoes. Or all their motherfucking group, honey, or their, their teams, four cups to never motherfucking pray on you or try to fuck out of you. Four cups, they should never fucking try to lay a fucking finger on your ass, honey. Period. Oops, the fuck is. They should have never motherfucking did that shit, honey. They in deep regret now. They wish they didn't. They feel guilty or whatever the fuck. Yeah. They feel guilty or whatever the fuck, because they ain't get shit by attacking you. Five of Pentacles. 
they're still left out in the cold. They're not getting any rewards or any blessings. Doors are closed in their face. They're broke. They're penny pinching. They want you to be penny pinching. You're not. You're not. You're about to get a motherfucking surprise, motherfucking windfall of money in the sun card. Yeah. A miracle. The fuck. Financially. Or you already did, bitch. Period. Be expecting that shit, Spirit said. Yeah, you can be seeing angel number 111. Yeah, bitch. The fuck. Period. Ten of pentacles. You're about to get a big bag. Money. Yeah. Money, 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 money. Period. Yeah. Money, buddy. The fuck. Period. Yeah. Yo. So tell this house to go sit down. All right, all right, bitch, the fuck? They look dumb. Yeah, they, they can't touch your bag. You're about to get a blessing right in these people's face. Ace of Pentacles, yeah, spirit about to give you a big bag, a win or something, an opportunity here. Right in this bitch face, yeah, out of fucking nowhere, honey. Tower is going to be a surprise amount of money, a miracle, or a sudden motherfucking, oops, windfall of money, or a, a sudden motherfucking deposit out of nowhere, like out of fucking nowhere, six of wands, or you're getting a motherfucking sudden contract or deal, or you're going motherfucking viral, or you're becoming a fucking celebrity over fucking night, or bitch, shooting for the stars, you're becoming a star or whatever, bitch, you're going to Hollywood or something, all right? You're getting <laughs> recognized, you're getting a gift, a check, winning the lottery, or whatever, you're getting a win or something, okay? Recognition. Award, this is your fucking justice here. Justice in the six of wands, yeah. Spirit said in their face, motherfucker. Yeah, spirit says sayonara, sucker. Period. Oops, the fuck. Oops. These people, they don't understand how the fuck you win. Seven of cups, they're confused. They don't understand how the fuck you got away. How the fuck you brought their magic spells. How the fuck every freaking magic spell that they did on you, they was preying on you. You blocked up and delayed that shit. They don't understand how all that fucking pain, agony, judgment, those stores, those betrayals, the cheating, the lying, that disrespecting you, moving on on purpose. They don't understand how all that didn't hurt you, break you, shake you, fucking destroy the fuck out of you. They don't understand how you was able to fucking transmute all that negative pain into positive ass energy and build off that shit, bitch. They don't get it. Bitch, surprise, surprise. Tell them to wipe their fucking eyes and look through the motherfucking mirror, bitch. They didn't know who the fuck you was, bitch. Like I said, they thought they fucking knew you. They didn't. The spirit said, bitch, objects in the mirror always appear closer than what they really are. Oops. The fuck? Oops, honey. These people, they didn't know who the fuck you was. They was just in a book by its cover or whatever. They thought they knew you. Huh? No, bitch. These bitches had no fucking earthly idea who the fuck you was, baby. The fuck, period. At all. Uh, mm-mm. Now they done got that ass bop, 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 bitch. Because they couldn't stop, 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 bitch. Oh, the fuck well. All right. <sighs> they was jealous of you. So, like, all your life you was going through bullshit because these people was doing shit. Magic. Purposely trying to attack you here. Make fun of you here. Call you names here. Talk about you behind your back here. Or in your face. Or while you're literally in the other room, purposely living you out of shit, purposely posting pictures on social media for you to be jealous of a bitch, which was not, right? Purposely getting with your person to try to upset you, and you wasn't jealous or mad, bitch. Keep the motherfucker, all right? Period. So, bitch, what? What did they do, though? But, like, what did they do to you? Nothing. They did everything to their fucking selves. Right? <sighs> Guys, I'm going to pull from this freaking deck, all right? And let's just get three cards. I want to tap in and get some more information on this shit, all right? It's death season for these people. These witches and warlocks in this coven. This jealous-ass mother who's trying to fucking be you. Doing this damn magic. Okay, I'm getting channel message. Witches, bro. This bitch could have been in the motherfucking kitchen cooking, bitch. Voodoo, hoodoo, spell work. Dashes of this, dashes of that. Trying to change her fate and yours. Or change your fate into hers. Your destiny. Switch destinies. Switch destiny. Switch life paths or whatever the fuck. Yeah. 
daddy said absolutely the fuck not who the fuck spirit said who do you think you are spirit said who the fuck did they think that they were bitch the fuck tell them to sit down on hope these people were trying to be god in your life they're not they're not honey they learned that shit the hard fucking way oh the fuck well bitch all right oh the fuck well wailing tree Wailing tree, reconciliation. Mindful group think at the bottom of my deck. Honey, these people need you to fucking live. They're energy vampires, leeches. They need you to motherfucking survive. They need to stay connected to you somehow. Whether it's where you're, whether they're in your energy because you're cool with them or whether they're in your energy because you're mad at them. They need to be connected to you or whatever to feed. <laughs> yeah. They, they need to be fucking connected to you, feminine. Cosmic womb. The divine feminine to feed and get this motherfucking fortune's wheel. Luck and right timing. Blessings. <laughs> Spiritual inheritance. Money. Success. The keys to the gate. They need to be fucking tied to your ass somehow or whatever the fuck. So everybody keep trying to motherfucking come at you or whatever the fuck, trying to connect their self to you. You can find that people are trying to befriend you or like reconnect with you or call you or people are calling you or texting you out of the blue that you haven't spoke to before, like in a while. When they're coming to speak to you, okay, or in your space, it could be for a good reason or a bad reason. It doesn't really matter to them whether they come in your energy and you're pissed at them or whether they're in your energy and you're you're happy with them. It doesn't matter. They just need to be in your space to feed or whatever. Yeah, these fallen angels, spiritual narcoleptics, narcissists, manipulators, roaches, rats, snakes in the grass, thieves, spiritual energy vampires, energy harvesters, leeches. And now it's going to pull through, but shit. Spirit said, do it the fuck to it. Uh, these people are not getting anywhere with you whenever they're trying to come in and communicate with you or relink up with you or reconnect with you or whatever. They're not getting anywhere. You're not open. You don't trust a bitch. You don't. You're not the same person, all right? You went through a major spiritual transformation. So, like, you're not concerned with whatever these people got going on. You don't want to hear what they got going on in their life. You don't want to tell them what you got going on in your life or none of that bullshit, all right? You do your job. You work. You focused on you. Focus on your mission for God's source universe, the divine, for your family, for your well-being, and etc. That's it. You gotta think about nobody to fuck outside your circle. These people trying to make themselves a factor in your life when they're a non-factor. Bitch. They're not getting nowhere with you. Somebody might, might be trying to come over to your house or whatever or, or see you or whatever. You're not accepting this person's offer or you're not going to open the door, let them in or. Or spirit is saying, don't let them in or don't let anybody over. From your past that has done you wrong or whatever. They're not coming back to. Make amends with you. Genuinely, they want to come back in your in your graces. However, way that may be, good or bad, they want to be attached and connected to you so that they can feed off of your pain or your success. They drain. They're not getting anywhere, honey. Unmarked trail revelation. They're not getting nowhere. They're stuck. They're not getting anywhere with you. 
Yeah, stranger, because you feel like everybody is a fucking stranger. You, you you feel like you can't trust a bitch. You feel like everybody want to fucking be nosy and know what the fuck you got going on. You feel like you can't tell anybody anything happening in your life or, or let anybody in again or open up again or be vulnerable again. Because you feel like if you, with deep diving, diving into a task, you feel like if you fucking do that shit and fucking remove your barriers you feel like you give them a fucking inch they don't motherfucking take a whole damn 12 miles you ain't got time for it so you've been protecting yourself dragons whore protecting the future shielding yourself keeping keeping the freaking devil out the snakes out keeping your grass cut short keeping your circle small because motherfuckers and eggs out there. Dream babes? Yeah. Karmics. You can't trust a bitch, family or friend, or whatever the fuck. Please don't, alright? You guys have a really big fucking reward coming in. Hey, right? you might be seeing like, um, angel number 1111 or 111 a lot. Um, also could be saying 888 and 1010, right? Yeah, you're getting like a fucking win of some type. I don't know if you're like winning the lottery, you're getting like a big check, you're getting chosen for this job, this promotion or whatever, as a leader or a star, or like you're gonna be like the face of this business or the leader of it, okay? This is the big role for you, all right? It comes with big rewards and a nice pay. All right, you're going to be comfortable here, stable here, money, honey, the fuck, all right? You're going to be a whole money barbie in these beach, all right? The fuck? Yeah, and you do what you want, period. We're going to post some freaking details, y'all, all right? And let's see if we can describe these people, all right? This shit crazy as a fuck, y'all, all right? Thanks, Barrett. Please give us some details um, to describe these people, all right? These, uh, this family that preyed on this star, all right? On a star, all right? Born in the 80s. You guys could be born in the 80s, all right? Yeah. Wears glasses, all right? This person could physically wear glasses or they're freaking spying on you, all right? They're watching you very closely here. Yeah, they're jealous of you. They watch everything that you fucking do here. What the fuck is this bitch problem, all right? Like, bitch, can we help you? The fuck? I just heard Jennifer's body. They feel like you look really good or like your body is really nice. Like, they're jealous of your body type or how you look or like how clothes fit you or whatever the fuck. They want to be like you or whatever. Let's say that again. They're trying to, like, walk in their shoes or, like, copy you or whatever. Or get their body done like you. Plastic surgery. They're sick or whatever. This person could be sick here. All right, I'm getting mentally. <laughs> yeah, they're fucking psychotic as shit, all right? A fucking narcissist, a psychopath, narcissist power, sick. They're sick in the head, all right? They could also be physically sick, bitch. All right, I'm getting a fucking STD. Or somebody could have fucking cancer. They're not saying anything about this shit. They hiding it or whatever the fuck. Acting like everything's all good and shit. Being a fake ass beast. Like how the fuck they always are. Or like how the fuck they've always been. Like how the fuck you've always known them to be. Yeah, I just heard never trust the bitch. Never trust the bitch. No. Never trust the bitch. Got to be in and talk of shit. <laughs> never trust the snake. Never trust the snake. No. You got snakes in the grass, bitch, and you needed to cut that shit, you did. You keep that shit cut real low, the fuck, period. Because you know that it's fake, it's fraud, it's v thought in this bitch, period. I did a moon spell. I think it was a full moon to empower and harness our energy. You can't trust nobody. You know that shit? You feel like you will never trust nobody the fuck again, period. Family, friend, lover, don't matter, bitch, the fuck, period. At all. Nah.
people were trying to fucking take his life or whatever the fuck. Your lifestyle. Your look. Your body type. Your gifts. Your lovers. Your jobs. <sighs> trying to blessing block the fuck out of you here and cause you this trouble, this pain, or whatever the fuck. This forever pain. The fuck is this bullshit? They wanted your stardom, your fame, center of attention. They want to be the one that's chosen or selected, all right? They want to be the one that everybody likes. They want to be the star. They don't want you to be this person, this mother or whatever, which is covering the fuck out of you or is. And watching the hell out of you, stalker. Watching everything that you upload on your social media. They hate you, but they love you at the same time on some weird ass shit. The fuck is this bitch problem? A business to get a life, alright? For real? Because this makes no fucking sense. Oh my god. They want to fucking get like you or whatever, be a boss, a bad bitch, an empress or whatever the fuck. They want to be the empress. They don't want you to be. They don't feel like you deserve it or whatever. They have this power, these gifts, this talent, or this position, or this spot, this role, or whatever. This authority, rank, spiritually, or whatever. They're envious of you, green eyes, yeah. They're envious of you, green eyes, the fuck. <laughs> Jealous of everything that you fucking do. They hate you, but they love you. This family does. Everybody in this coven does masculines too. Yeah. You got men and women wanting to be like you, bitch. The fact that they can't. The fact that they can't. Is stressing them the hell out under stress. <sighs> Trying to be like you is killing me, bitch ass. Good. Tell them to sit the fuck down and shut the fuck up, alright? Yeah. They, they in regret for trying to fucking do that damn magic spell or whatever the fuck. That ritual, that mirror spell, that scrying, that prying, in that damn crystal ass ball or whatever the fuck. Trying to be like you, steal from you, identity theft or whatever the fuck. Or take your name or whatever the fuck, bitch. Do this damn motherfucking credit card scandal. This motherfucking illegal ass money transfers, this motherfucking illegal ass surveillance, bitch. All that shit. Got these bitches caught the fuck up. They look dumb. Somebody could be going to jail or a channel message. Sorry, no. Guys, I'm gonna pull, um, let's pull some letters, all right? Let's get the freaking initials, all right? This could be first or last name of, um, anybody in this karmic family, all right, that was praying on this star on you collective star seed watching, all right? This could also be, um, yeah, the first or last name of, um, any of the witches, the warlocks, all right? And this cover, whatever the fuck, that was jealous of you, or whatever, bitch. These people crazy, alright? I have the letter P. P. Penelope. Penelope did it. Her spirit said, oh. The letter L. Paris. Paul. The letter E. The letter I. Spirit said what I said, ho. What I fucking said, ho. Think you could try me and you motherfucking dead, fo. Oops, the fuck. Oops. The letter X. Your ancestors and guys are pissed at this karmic family member who could be a friend a family member a lover bitch shit all three the fuck because we're speaking tap all kind of people the fuck this power of three i feel like this power of three is not just three people i feel like it's three people that have a group that work with each of them okay it's like three sectors right three divisions the witch 
is a mother. She has a whole fucking group of people in this family. All right. This, this could be your personal family that she has working against you. All right. The King of Pentacles. The Warlock. All right. He's the leader of, this, of these damn masculines. All right. He's, he could be a father, a grandfather, or a dad that was trying to like, offer the fuck up out of your life, all right, to this damn coven, all right? Offer you up as a motherfucking ritual or whatever the fuck, as a sacrifice. You can be a mason or whatever the fuck, bitch, as a letter T, all right? Trying to get motherfucking initiated into this damn group or whatever. I have the letter D, all right? And the third one is this false twin flame of yours. They have a group of people that they was working against you with. This third party that they were trying to make into you or whatever the fuck. Because they were trying to destiny switch out your life path with this third party because they don't want to be in union with you. They want to be in union with, in union with their fucking thirsty ass third party. Just my last bitch. The letter G. I just heard blinded by the light. Oops. Your light's too bright. The letter K. These people, they couldn't take you, all right? Every time that they fucking try to come in your motherfucking path or whatever the fuck, in your direction, your space, your place, add the letter S, all right? Every time that they tried that shit, honey, they got burnt. They got that ass burnt. They got blinded by the fucking light. Yeah. Oops. The fuck is you're protected here? Bonus letter is the letter Z, all right? Protected by God, source, universe. All right, I'm getting raw energy. Third bonus letter is the letter N. <laughs> Natalie. Nicole. Nate. Another bonus letter is the letter H. All right, y'all. H. <sighs> These people play with the wrong one. That's what I'm hearing here. Honey, spirit just keeps saying um, it didn't pay to play or whatever, right? Period. They look dumb as fuck because they are. <laughs> yeah, honey, these people don't damn put their foot in their mouth trying to play with you. Yeah, yeah, oops, oops, oops. <laughs> oops, oops, oops. I heard um, loose lips sink ships. Oops, the fuck. Oops, no ships, no new doors, no, no new beginnings. <laughs> No fresh starts are coming in for these karmic family members, friends, and lovers that was preying on you, star, or on their star. Spirit said it's death season for them. 10, 10. Is it any for them? Is it any of that damn cycle? Is it any of these people's life cycles for a few of them? All right. These people are under judgment. This witch, this warlock, and this false flame masculine or feminine that you was dealing with. This power of three or whatever the fuck. Guys, I'm going to pull up from our freaking Kipper deck, all right, a couple cards, and let's get some more information on this shit, all right, the book. These people are crazy. Oh, my gosh, all right, oh, my gosh. This family does too fucking much. You you was fucking surprised at, like, how your family keep freaking treat you like a fucking outcast like that or treat you like a black sheep like that. You were sitting back and looking at these bitches like, wow, this motherfucker really is crazy. He was like, wow, why the fuck did I get fucking placed in this damn place or this family with these people or whatever the fuck? He was like, why me? Like the fuck, period. Spirit put you with this family, okay? You're the only star amongst a freaking family of karmics. It was meant like that because you're the fucking curse breaker in the family. You're the only one for the job. They're jealous of you. They want to be the one to be the fucking star. To be the one chosen for the position. Because they come with great rewards. Alright. Expectation. Yeah. They knew who the fuck you was. Privileged lady. Yeah. They were jealous of you or whatever the fuck. Expectation. Privileged lady. They wanted what the fuck comes with being you. Chosen. Gifted. You get gifts. Rewards. Fucking immortality, bitch. Spiritual inheritance, wealth. Spiritual abundance, protection, spiritually. Healing. Everlasting healing, health, wealth, prosperity, abundance. 
yeah, gifts, talents, just etc. your whole life. Gem cards, you will be provided for by the most high, by the divine here. These people knew that here. They wanted to fucking take your place. They didn't want you to have that or whatever the fuck. So they try to motherfucking erase your face or whatever the fuck. Your name or erase your name or change a name. Message and thief or huh. Which are the name? I'm getting motherfucking. This is voodoo shit, bitch. Voodoo doll shit, bitch. They was writing names and trying to soul swap or whatever the fuck. Transfer gifts over from one person to the next or whatever. Gift. Bitch, that shit did not fucking work. Yeah, they was gonna fucking work or whatever the fuck. Occupation? Yeah, bitch. This witch or whatever the fuck. Mother? Grandmother or whatever the fuck. Family member? This could be your mom. Or this masculine, false flames mom. Alright? Take it how it resonates, y'all. It could be them. They were damn motherfucking undercover ass witch. They're into the dark arts and shit. Period. They're trying to fucking be like you or wear your fucking face. Occupation. She got a whole sewing machine, bitch. What the fuck is that bitch making? A mask or whatever the fuck to look like you or a bodysuit that looks like you or whatever the fuck. They're trying to trick the fucking divine or whatever the fuck. Into thinking that you was them or trying to switch destinies out or whatever the fuck. Yeah, trying to switch out destinies, pathways, life paths, life paths. They were trying to walk your fucking path. A oh, bitch, no, the fuck? That's a problem. Concern? Spirit said, mayday, mayday, man down. Huh. Man down. Spirit said, stand down, bitch. Spirit said, hold it the fuck right there to this damn Carmen. They said, who the fuck do you think you are? They saw this Carmen come from a mile away or whatever. This film member? They knew that they was going to try to motherfucking come in here and take your money or try to sacrifice you or whatever the fuck. Or try to stop you or whatever the fuck. Spirit had a trap set up these people by trying to attack you or trying to prey on you. Thinking that they was attacking you or hurting you or whatever the fuck. Honey, they did no such thing. Trying to block you or keep you trapped in this cage. Not able to move forward and get on your life path that Spirit had written for you. Them thinking that stupid ass shit was working, um, was where they fucked up at, babe. Period. <laughs> they didn't trap you. They trapped themselves. Look at them. Caught up. Like the motherfucking rodents. The rats. That they fucking are, bitch. Tell them to join the ranks. The fuck. Period. Hey. Right? Oops. 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 They look dumb, right? You pray on a motherfucking star, bitch, because you jealous or whatever the fuck, because this damn star is a fucking empress. Privilege, a star, chosen, a star seed, talented, gifted. All her tables shifted. Yeah, she on top of the fucking wheel, getting this damn big ass bag, this damn gift. Again, collective spirit saying, y'all need to be fucking expecting a big ass gift, baby. The fuck, period, privileged lady. Be fucking expecting a big ass gift to come in, period, for you. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. A new job, new money is on the way. A ship's coming in, journey cart. Yeah, special delivery, the fuck, period. Yeah, you could be going somewhere or traveling or... Yeah, for work or... <sighs> You're gonna have to start traveling for work or... This new position or role requires you to travel, all right? But it comes with really great pay and your travel is going to be paid for, your flight, your fare or whatever. Your ticket, your hotel stay, your food or whatever is going to be paid for or whatever, okay? Or something like that. You're about to be big or whatever, right? In the limelight and shit. you like one of the stars, literally. on some real shit. We're going to post some problems, y'all, all right? We're going to post some problems. This shit crazy. These people was mad at you or whatever the fuck. Jealous of you, your family, your whole family, all your friends, everybody you ever fucking dated, 
I'll be getting jealous of you. It's like the relationship always started out great in the beginning. And then eventually that shit turns sour. If somebody turns on a bitch or whatever the fuck. They turned on you or whatever the fuck. Was playing with you. Black magic. Confusion. Voodoo. Hoodoo. Hexes. Curses. Saying shit out the side of their mouth or whatever the fuck. Word retreat. Speaking death and bullshit over you. They feel bad for attacking you or whatever the fuck. They feel guilty as a fuck for doing that shit to you. This family. These people. This witch. This was just covet, this warlock's group, this grandmother, this mom, this dad, this grandfather, whoever the fuck they are, uh, uh, you know, alongside this masculine, false flame, masculine or feminine you was dealing with. They all feel bad as fuck, guilty as a fuck for doing that shit because they didn't stop you at all. You still fucking winning right in their fucking face. Yeah. Period. Yeah. So bitch, not give you butt, boy. <laughs> They was doing this shit on purpose to you because of who you are in the spirit, because of your, your gift, your authority, your ranking, your position. They don't want you to be over them. They have a problem with that. These people was competing with you and you ain't never even competed with a bitch ever at all. Never. You're not like them. You're not on that petty shit like them. Right? You're the opposite of them. You're not karmic. You're the only one that's a star in your entire family, your entire circle. Everybody the fuck else is karmic. That's why they did it. That's why they do what they do. That's why they act how they act around you. That's why people act strange around you and talk about you or whatever the fuck negatively or smile on your face all the time they want to take your place. I, yeah, the spirit said never trust the bitch. Never trust the bitch. No. Never trust a bitch gossiping and talking shit. Never trust a fake. Never trust a fake. No. They gonna talk behind your back and smile up in your face. Alright. All these bitches wanna do, honey, is eat up off your plate. And take your fucking place. Alright? While we're in your fucking face. The fuck, period. They don't wanna be with you or be connected to you for any genuine reasons that'll benefit you all right they have commitment issues to hear to freaking still kill and destroy they want what you got or what you can offer what you give out or whatever or what you have yeah because of who the fuck you are star seed you're a star seed because your gifts your ability your authority your power, your connection with God, source universe, the divine, what comes with being connected to God, source universe, and the divine, prosperity, infinite, abundant, spiritual gifts out the fucking, bitch, out the fucking water, all right? Blessings, rewards, being able to heal yourself, being able to transmute negative energy into positive energy, being successful, they want all of that. They're not getting that. They're not able to connect to you or bind you, stop you, or delay you. They was never able to fucking take you, shake you, or break you, or motherfucking keep you stuck or bind you somewhere. You always got out. You always got set free. You always freaking transmuted the pain and freaking kept your freaking shoulders back, head up, eyes on the fucking prize. You had the fucking faith of a mustard seed. That's all you needed. You walk right over these bitches, you moonwalk on these hairs, bitch. You say, hey, get, get like me, stupid little bitch. Period. They lost. They feel dumb as a fuck. They don't understand how to fuck you freaking beat them or whatever the fuck. Or beat them at their own game or, or how the fuck you solve through them or how the fuck you was prepared or how the fuck you was able to chance me all that they freaking threw at you. They don't understand how they wasn't able to successfully do that magic on you and, and, and take your place and walk in your shoes and switch life with you, switch destinies with you. They don't understand how their magic didn't work. It always works on other people. They've been doing this shit for years or whatever the fuck or whatever. They do that ancient, dark, voodoo ass, hood ass shit. It always works on other people. Okay, but the other people... That I was working on was karmic, stupid bitch. 
If they fucking knew better, bitch, they would do better, alright? You're not the fucking Carmen. You're the damn star scene. You a blow them. Clearly, you're a star. They're a Carmen. They down here. You the fuck up here. Okay? Bitch. That's why that shit didn't get anywhere. That's why they didn't get anywhere. They all looked dumb. They all came together against you. Just one you. You're not even trying to attack these people. You're not looking in, at them. You're doing you, minding your business, staying focused, trying to let things roll off your back, like how your mojo is helping you to do. <sighs> trying to not let shit bother you, all right? <sighs> That's what you're doing. That's what you're supposed to do. You're thriving. While these people are fucking dying. They're losing their life. They're losing family members. They're losing coven, coven members. Team members. Leaders. A whole lot of ass followers, bitch. And their damn demonic ass groups. Let's go some facts, alright? They didn't get the fucking results. That they bitch ass was looking for. Results. It's like these people was for sure that them all coming together against you all at one all at one time. It's like they was for sure that that shit was gonna like work on you or whatever. It didn't. All this shit backfired on their ass. On him, her, them, the fuck period. Alright? Yeah. They never expected it or whatever the fuck. Surprise, bitch. Surprise. Wipe your teary eyes, bitch, alright? <sighs> These people, this karmic family, they're blocked from trying to attack you. Their black magic is blocked from you. Their bullshit is blocked from you, like I said. Every time they were coming for you or purposely trying to attack you or say bullshit or have an opinion or judge you, it was in one ear and out the other for you. It didn't bother you. That shit rolled the fuck off your damn hard ass shell. Like I said, each attack they did didn't do nothing but make you fucking faster, bigger, better, stronger. And freaking added, added a new, stronger, bigger, thicker layer of motherfucking protection around your motherfucking body and your spirit, your soul, your mind. Everything about you, the fuck period. Yeah, they, 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 motherfucking. These people can't motherfucking pierce you or make a fucking connection to you at all. And since they can't connect to you, because your life, blessings connected to God towards universe, you're healing, all right? Your earth angel temperance energy, all right? If these people can't successfully bind and connect themselves and attach themselves to you, whether that be good or bad. If they can't successfully do that shit within a timely manner, it's complete chaos, destruction, a disaster for them, all right? They can't live, yeah. Tell me how I'm supposed to breathe with no air. Bitch, you don't. You don't. They're not. So many people are motherfucking dying in this damn coven, bitch. Yeah, they, they taking a last breath or whatever the fuck, bitch, spirits that it's death season or whatever the fuck. Yeah, they in trouble or whatever the fuck. Channel message, spirit said, this cousin, these witches need to brace for impact. These warlocks, brace for impact, bitch. Oops the fuck, oops. Incoming, crash, brace for impact, bitch. Oops. <laughs> Whoops, what? That's the sound of the police. <laughs> 911, what's your emergency? <laughs> He's dead. She's dead. <laughs> The family that prayed got motherfucking slayed. Oops the fuck oops by your angels and ancestors, your guides. On some real shit. Honey, don't play with it, don't play with it, bitch, don't fucking play with it, alright? Your angels and ancestors don't play about you. Archangel Michael said, what up, bitch? The fuck? Yeah, your angels and guys said knock if you buck, boy. To this witch, warlock, and false flame, masculine, feminine, baby ass, witch, or warlock. All of them, you about to be big or whatever the fuck. 
seen a celebrity or whatever the fuck. On social media, a star. Something of yours is going viral or whatever. You're, you're becoming big. Famous. You about to be a rich ass bitch. Bitch. Yeah. On top, a star. Because you're supposed to be. Period. Yeah, Spirit said, let's give them something to talk about. Spirit said, honey, if they were selling to me before, honey. <laughs> Spirit said, they ain't seen nothing yet because uh, the position that Spirit is about to put you in, the, the position that God is about to place you in, honey, this role, this title, this crown, honey. Uh, these carvings, honey, if they thought they were selling to envious of you before, bitch. Spirit said, they about to be motherfucking mad, mad at you. Spirit said, yeah, let's give them something to talk about. Yeah. Hey, this, they got me. Hey. Ooh. Yeah, you about to be a, ooh. I'm going to make you a celebrity overnight. You about to be a rich, bitch-ass bitch, bitch. Yeah. You got money in the bank. Mm -hmm. Shawty, what you drank? Honey, these people are going to feel fucking bad as a fuck. They're going to be living in a life of regret for how they treated you, for how they did you. <sighs> living in a life of regret because they didn't make a fucking successful ass bind to you or connect to you. Whether that be good or bad, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, narcissistically. However the fuck they needed to do that. By causing you pain, they bind you. By betraying you, they bind you. By cheating on you, they bind you. They were trying to do all that to bind you. None of that shit fades you. You saw it. You seen it. You said, okay, bitch, and move the fuck on with your life. Like, how the fuck you was supposed to? Cut them cards. Let all that shit flow and roll the fuck off your back. All right. Then one year, out the other bitch, that shit was gone like the wind. All right. They didn't connect to you at all. They feel fucking some kind of a way about that they have regret or whatever because you becoming this damn star the celebrity very seen very heard people like you yeah incoming can you guys hear that train daddy said hi for one all aboard go on a trip in our favorite rocket ship go on a trip Yeah, all aboard. You have a really big ass gift coming in, Star. Spirit said, let's give him something to talk about, all right? Yeah, you about to put him on a stage in the forefront. Yeah, in the face, yeah, of everybody. All eyes are on you, Spirit said. Yeah, blow the whistle on him. What? What? Blow the whistle on him, bitch. Yeah, you a whistleblower, seen and heard. Your voice is going to be heard. Your name is going to be heard or known worldwide, all over the world, internationally, all right? You about to be big all right get ready to pop out pop out oh this energy i love it guys these current family members witches warlocks friends lovers false flames and etc are all gonna be fucking living in a shame now regret regret Or how they treat you, honey, because they're not going to be able to fucking go where the hell you going. They're not going to be able to take part in this good ass shit you about to get. From spirit, once you get this position or this role, these people are not going to be giving anything. They're not going to be able to connect with you or take a fucking slice of your pie or piece of your pie or eat off your plate or motherfucking wear your face or, or be a part of this damn group or whatever the fuck. They're not going to be able to be a part of this damn good news that you're getting, these blessings that you're getting. It's yours. It's got your name on it. They can't come with you. They've been cut. They've been, like, cut out from your life. Like, Spirit is saying eclipsed out. They had to be cut out from your life because Spirit didn't want anybody to fucking be around you or in your circle. That will be a thief or a snake in the grass or whatever the fuck. Yeah. You're protected. All right. Spirit wants you to take your power back and protect yourself from these people, places, and things that were trying to purposely harm you. You were sitting back looking at how people are cool with you in the beginning. And then after a while, it turns into like issues or whatever the fuck. And they, they turn on you or whatever the fuck or become a traitor or become somebody you can't trust or 
become an ex or an ex best friend or lover like all the time you're like bitch like he was like what the entire fuck these people was turning on you because spirit was fucking removing the snakes out your grass literally the trash was taking itself out yeah i just heard bitch be for real these people couldn't stand being like around you or whatever they couldn't stand looking at you or whatever you're like you're too real you're too hardcore you're too powerful you're too much of a bad bitch you're too strong you're too powerful like you're the real deal like you're the real empress or the real star they scared of you or whatever the fuck all their black magic reverse on these bitch ass or whatever because you're the real deal or whatever the fuck the chosen one All this attacking you shit didn't fucking do nothing to you but make you fucking faster, bigger, better, and stronger. Like I said, for once, that shit made you fucking stable as a fuck. Built you more motherfucking walls around your motherfucking shit. Period. You guys are definitely getting a new job or a new position, stars. You gonna be on top or whatever the fuck? I'm talking about big money or whatever. These people gonna be watching you or whatever, stalking you, looking you up, googling you up, looking up your net worth now, Spirit said, looking up your net worth. They gonna be looking up your net worth because you gonna be like a celebrity or famous or something. <sighs> they gonna be curious how much you making or whatever the fuck, doing this new job that you gonna be doing or whatever the fuck. I don't know. <laughs> That's why they want to fucking be cool with you, be your best friend or whatever the fuck, or get back in your good graces because now you're about to have this new position, this new role, this new money or whatever, this new title. They want to be a part of it or whatever the fuck. They might be trying to email you or communicate with you or DM you or send you a letter or a message or leave you a voicemail or try to come to your house or whatever. Spirit said, don't do it, all right? They're not coming here to communicate with you or try to reconcile with you or rekindle the fucking flame with you for no fucking good ass reason, bitch, all right? They're not here for genuine ass reasons. They're here for bank. They're here for money. They're here for your fucking bag, your inheritance, your wealth, this new money that you're getting, this prosperity that you're getting. They want this spiritual inheritance. They want this freaking infinite ass abundance and prosperity. They want this freaking heavenly ass money. They want your bag. That's why they're here. To take that shit. They're a two faced ass bitch. You can't trust. They're a snake in the gas. The fuck? Period. All right? Yeah, motherfucking gold digging. Man. Well, motherfucking gold digging ass woman, bitch. Period. Yeah. Never trust a bitch. Never trust a bitch. No. <laughs> Never trust a bitch. Gossiping and talking shit. Bitch. Alright. I just keep getting, you know, if they do better, they would, they, they would do better, bitch, but... They couldn't help themselves. They needed to fucking attempt this damn scandal ass shit on you. Just attack you in the numbers, bullshit, gang stalking, or whatever the fuck. They mad because that shit didn't work or whatever. It backfired on them or whatever the fuck. Yeah. They need your help, urgent, or whatever the fuck. Yeah. Bracing for impact. Mayday. Mayday. Man down. Mayday. Mayday. Man down. This damn crash energy is big. These people could be getting in a car accident or getting on a light by a car accident. They were trying to send you this damn death magic here. These car crash energy. You dodge the bullet every time. Spirit said, touch not my anointed, my star, my chosen. Yeah. And the fact that they tried that shit. They freaking called the damn death angel on them bitches. Death season for them. Spirit said they gonna hit, and spirit said they not gonna miss. Funeral ass energy. Oops the fuck. Oops, bitch. These damn karmic ass family that preyed on you are pressed, 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 bitch. Looking like a hot ass mess, honey. Cause they fucking know that all their damn spells backfired on them, and they fucking know that they ass about their motherfucking get dead, bitch. 
because these damn ancestors are pissed, angry as a fuck. And these people try to do that shit on you, they fucking are sending all these people's magic and shit back. Their demons back. Oops the fuck. Oops. <laughs> yeah. Oops, oops, oops. It's deadly. These, these people, this deadly, this blood magic is backfiring on this witch, this warlock. This witch sister or whatever the fuck. That was trying to be you or whatever the fuck. Mother energy. Try to trade places with you or whatever the fuck. By conjuring up these damn spirits and shit. Voodoo, hoodoo ass bullshit, bitch. Try to motherfucking soul swap, destiny swap. That shit was deadly, bitch. That bitch dying. Oh, the fuck well. Alright? Yeah. It's, yeah, trying to be a copycat, trying to be you or whatever the fuck. <laughs> Moon magic, rituals, <laughs> scrying, <laughs> crystal ball all that shit, motherfucking trying to be a bitch or whatever the fuck. <laughs> yeah. Demon ass shit, warlocks, covens and shit. That shit was illegal, spirit said the fuck. Period. Yeah, bitch. The fuck. Period. Yeah, that shit backfired on him, hurt them, all these hoes, bitch. Spirit said, cause fuck you. Yeah. Reverse, 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 bitch. Oh, the fuck. Well, all right. And she was deadly, bitch, for him, her, them, all these hoes, all right? Very sad, didn't pay to play, all right? She. <sighs> Let's go some karma, y'all, all right? Let's go some freaking karma. This shit is fucking wild. I like my freaking cup, bitch. Day of the dad, period. Yeah, guys, all right? Your bitch likes skulls, alright? I like skulls, you can't fucking tell. Alright. Let's pull some karma, baby. Alright. With some wild yeah, right? With so wild you work. Da, 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 da. Hey. hey, spirit, give us some karma, please, for these people, places, and things. This karma family that was preying on a star. They preyed on the star seed, the empress. Oops, the fuck? Oops, honey. Getting money stolen from them? Yeah, they got money stolen from them here, period. Mm -mm. They were trying to steal from you the spiritual inheritance, this wealth. Trying to be, you know, trying to put you in this five of pentacles, trying to make you broke, honey. You're not. They are, period. They're struggling. They want to blame it on you, whatever the fuck. It could be a damn family feud over fucking money or whatever the fuck. Because now they're all of a sudden broke. <laughs> and you're about to get a fucking windfall of money. So now they want to fucking be mad at you because you got the keys, you got the bag, and they fucking don't. They mad because all that fucking spiritualized gift and inheritance that they were trying to take from you is getting transferred from their karmic bitch ass over to the rightful owner. You. So there could be a family if you right now over money or whatever the fuck. All right. It's only because these people have no success at their work or place of employment. Whatever the fuck they were doing in the dark with these dark arts, these crafts, this witchcraft, this work. This shit didn't work, bitch. Period. The money magic didn't work. The trying to be ritual didn't work or whatever. The mirror magic didn't work or whatever, bitch. Crash energy spirits that break for impact, bitch. Getting in a car accident? Hashtag totaled. <laughs> Confirmation. Spirits that break for impact. Personally, these people could be getting unalived in a car accident, bitch. It's deadly. Fatal. Fatality. Spirit said. These people had no wishes come true at all. Duh. Why should they? They was preying on a motherfucking star. Ne negatively. <laughs> they was not able to manifest at all. Nothing they need, they want, they desire, wish for, pray for, dream about, or hope for came to pass at all. They look stupid, baby. Oops, oops, oops. <laughs> Spirit said, why lie for? Right? Why lie for? <laughs> This witch promised this damn masculine false flame of yours or feminine false flame of yours that if they had joined in holy matrimony with them in this damn power of three to come against you that he or she or they will be blessed with a lifetime of freaking wealth and abundance and prosperity. Cars and clothes, the women and the 
the hose, bitch. Bounce the motherfucking hose, bitch, on some dumb ass shit. He and she ain't got none of that. They never got it. It was a lie. It was a lie. Spirit said, why lie for it? This witch lied to them. <laughs> they fell for it. <laughs> Dumbass bitch. They had no success at winning, gaining, or earning anything. Look at that. Now look at that. Oops, the fuck. Oops. They did all this damn shit trying to attack this damn empress, their damn twin flame, divine feminine, or whatever the fuck. They did all that shit, honey, and didn't get no fucking wear. All right, they got their ass motherfucking blocked, stopped, and delayed. Left the fuck out. Oops, and fucking replaced. Because you're getting a new masculine or a new feminine. These people wanted you left out, honey. They left out. People are living them out a lot. They're getting ghosted. These people trying to ghost you or leave you out of some shit or make you feel outcasted or rejected or alone or abandoned or not a part of a team or a group. They were trying to make you feel like you're not worthy or you're not to be respected or you're not to be accepted or, or cherished or anything. <laughs> Uplifted or motivated. They want you to feel like that, honey. They feel like that. Times 10. It's the fuck it, bitch. Yeah. Spirit said, look what I could do. <laughs> look what I can do, honey. Somebody's definitely getting in a car accident. Lost a vehicle or transportation. Yeah. That bitch getting total, bitch. Somebody's dying. One passenger is dying. One is not. I feel like the motherfucking passenger is passing away. And the driver is surviving. The passenger could be this fucking witch. Mother of this masculine. And the driver is the damn masculine false flame. This false flame could have lost their mother or this girlfriend or their third party or whatever the fuck. Witch. That was the one to work on you, trying to be you or whatever, trying to soul swap her bitch ass with you. bank account in the negative hashtag no money they're broke as fuck they want you to be broke in the five of pentacles struggling lacking yay they are they look dumb you don't you're big they're small you're right they're wrong and there's nothing that they karmic ass to do about it period so bitch ba 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 bitch they need to stop 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 bitch Ips, 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 bitch. This shit definitely sucks, bitch, right? One of them could be damn sick. It's masculine. Could have caught an STD here. All right, this is not only sexually, but spiritually here. They caught a damn demon, bitch. Yeah. Conjuring up this damn spell work. These damn death rituals and shit. Trying to unalive and sacrifice the fuck out of you, honey. They gonna damn bind they sell for this damn entity. Yeah. Literally gonna feed on this bitch. And suck them fucking dry, bitch. Until they fucking die, bitch. D I A. Literally. That's what it does. This demon is able to come and attach itself to this damn masculine warlock. Devil worshiping, bitch. Because he or she is not spiritually protected by the divine at this time. No, because they're a demon to work for the dark side. Why would God. Angels, Archangel Michael, and etc. Why would any of them protect this person for? They was preying on a star. God's chosen, one of God's children. One of the divine's children. So, yeah, no. Oh, Alright. Spare that. Bitch be for real. <laughs> Bitch be for real. I'm going to pull some advice from Spirit, guys, and close out on our reading, all right? <sighs> this is crazy. They did all this shit for a fucking love of money. Because of who you are and what comes with being who you are. That's why everybody comes in your life and it's cool at first. And then after a while... They start fucking showing the signs, the same signs, and start acting like people in your past or whatever the fuck. 
And you have to fucking block a bitch or back away from a bitch or cut a bitch off or whatever the fuck. Or tell a bitch about yourself or disconnect yourself or like unassociate yourself from the people, alright? All the time. You feel like you can't trust nobody or whatever? Because you can't. Don't forget where we are, alright? This planet is crazy. Give us some advice, Spirit. Thanks for you. Um, to the collective please regarding this family that was preying on them this star all right these witches and warlocks are freaking getting on the land honey car accident here plane crash here a lesson we are teaching this person these people a hard lesson in case you was wondering oops the fuck oops these people are learning the freaking tragedy death chaos and confusion their fucking place some people are learning about their fucking lives oh my god but they're losing somebody very close to them very dear to them because you are very dear to the divine and these people the, the divine feels pissed at these people this karmic mother father false flame masculine or feminine witch warlock false twin flame bitch the divine god source universe feels highly fucking disrespected by these people these places and these things because you're very cherished and loved by the divine you're very close to them and these people tried to take you away from the divine or thought that they could or thought that they had the fucking right to. They didn't, ah, uh, they didn't appreciate that. Alert, you're on the wrong path. Oops, the fuck? Oops. <laughs> whoop, whoop. That's the sound of the police. 911, what's your fucking emergency? 911, what's your fucking emergency? He's dead. She's dead. car accident or crash or somebody could be getting hit by a car bitch hit by a car a hit and run a hit and run for this witch mother or third party woman who will try and represent themselves as you embrace star This woman, karmic witch, is not making it, honey. They're getting unalived. Spirit said it's death season. It's time for them to D.I.E. Period. 10-10? Yeah. Spirit told them, alert, you're on the wrong path. Spirit kept warning them, kept telling them, bitch, back the fuck off. Touch not my anointed. Turn her ass the other way. Shut that shit the fuck up. You didn't spell some shit, bitch. Spirit said, hmm, hmm, hmm. They was knocking and bucking and ready to fight. So Spirit said shit. They turned off all their lights. They put these bitch lights out? Literally. Death season? Oops. Spirit said that's all folks. For this third party witch, warlock, and magician. They should have listened. They couldn't resist. So they're learning by death, chaos, confusion, tragedy. Catastrophe, loss, suffering, pain, hurt, all that bullshit they were trying to send you and put in your bag and have you carry. You ain't carry that shit. You cut all them damn swords off, bitch. Chisel, your, chisel yourself up. Mm -hmm. Built yourself up, honey. Shoulders back, head up, chin up, eyes on the prize. Yeah. We stayed focused. Kept the damn faith the size of mustard seed, honey. That's all you needed. Spirit said, yeah, you stay strong. Do it all in the foot, period. So Spirit said, as a reward, be expecting big blessings to come in your life. And it's a number 999-111-888. You guys also could be seeing 777. There's a big, massive change coming in for you, honey. Yeah, a big, big, massive change coming in for you. All right, positively here. You're getting a reward or recognition or a new title or a new role. All right, new money, new life here. You're going into a new life here, a new season here, all right, of abundance. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's some more spirit things. Yeah, spirits that don't worry about anything here, all right? You have nothing to worry about. You're protected by Archangel Michael, your angels and ancestors, God, all right? Period. Spirits that fear nothing, all right? Yeah, they're saying we're, we're always protecting you here, just period. Even when you feel like they're not, they are. Spirits said they'll never forget it. These witches, these warlocks, these family members, these friends, they can't do you. They can't do you. They're nothing to you. What are they to you? Nothing. Do not fear this person or these people. Right? Because you're big and they're small. And you're right and they're wrong. And there's nothing that they can do about it. The end. That's what Spirit said. Spirit said, that's all, folks. Wow, guys. Wow. This karmic family, they preyed on you, honey. And thought that they was going to get away with this bullshit. Thought that they wasn't going to get backlash for this attack that they was doing on you. Thought that they was going to be able to freaking sneak into the spirit, unseen, unheard, clipped, and go under the radar, and not be seen by the eye of God. Bitch, these people are delusional. I don't know what freaking planet they from, honey. But they need to motherfucking learn some shit, honey. Before freaking dabbling in a freaking realm. With stars. With God's children. And not knowing what happens. When you touch God's anointed. You don't want to be on the bad opposite side of God, honey. On daddy, alright? Everybody know that. Or they should. <laughs> This family, this mom was jealous of you or whatever. This woman was jealous of your position. In spirit, they've been watching you for a long time. Use your gifts. Be successful. Be light. Be loved. Be, be whatever. Fabulous. As you are. They was hating on you. They want to take your place. Your shine. Try to belittle you. Judge you. Never was happy for you or anything. They really tried to make shit difficult for you, all right? You feel like all your life you had to fight. You feel like it was always some more shit and some more shit, all right? Spirit says it's the end of that bullshit for you, that, that cycle of you going through chaos and confusion at the hands of these people. Spirit said it's over 10-10. You guys could be saying 10-10. It's the end of the bullshit, all right? <sighs> Let's go ahead and use our clear cords, guys, all right, and shield ourselves from this negative energy, all right, from this negative karmic family members, friends, and false flame masculines, feminine lovers, all right, twin flames and false soulmates, etc. Clear cords, all right? Wow, guys, wow. This shit crazy, all right? It's death season for these people. These people are paying with their lives here, all right? They want you to pay with your life for their sins. Bitch, no, you're not a sacrifice, all right? They are. This shit backfired on them, all right? They feel guilty. They feel regretful. They feel remorseful. Don't never admit it to your face. But honey, inside, these people up at night. Trying to figure out how to get back attached to you or connect to your ass some type of a fucking way. So that they can freaking feed off of this new victory that you're getting or that you already have. Right? You can feel it. You know something's coming. You don't know what it is. And you don't know when it's coming. You just know that something's about to happen really good for you. That's because it fucking is. Yeah. 
-hmm. Well, guys, I'm going to end it there, all right? That's all I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading, all right? Wow, guys, this shit was crazy. This reading was thick, all right? You keep keeping your head up. You keep staying focused. You keep staying strong, all right? Keep letting this shit roll off your back, honey. Keep letting this bullshit these people trying to say to you and make you feel like you're not good enough or not worthy, all right? Keep letting all that shit go in one ear and out the other, honey, okay? Because they can't do you. They can't do you. What they to you. They nothing to you at all, period, all right? Yeah, let that shit roll off your back, babe. All right? It's gone like the wind. Period. All right, y'all. That's all I have for you guys. Guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, and you subscribe to your girl's channel. And I'll be talking to you guys later. Love you. Peace.